Hi, call me Louis. This is my spot. Louis spot. Hello. So apparently the Bank of Ghana has already begun with the drawing the foreign exchange support for some of those imports. What imports you may ask? Well, Ghana President Nana Kufuado has banned the importation of certain foods and basic commodities to Ghana. In a speech, the Ghana President expressed how this was an attempt to stabilize the economy by encouraging the local manufacture and production of these banned goods and focusing more on the exports rather than imports. Take a look. My fellow Ghanaians, the success of our efforts at diversifying the structure of the Ghanaian economy from an import-based one to a value-added exporting one is what will, in the long term, help strengthen our economy. We're making some progress with the 1D1F, but our current situation requires that we take some more stringent measures to discourage the importation of goods that we can and do produce here. To this end, we will review the standards required for imports into the country. We will prioritize the imports as well as review the management of our foreign exchange reserves in relation to imports of products such as rice, poultry, vegetable oil, toothpicks, pasta, fruit juice, bottled water, and ceramic tiles, and others, which with intensified government support and that of the banking sector, can be manufactured and produced in sufficient quantities in Ghana. Government will in May 2023 that is six months from now, review the situation. We must, as a matter of urgent national security, reduce our dependence on imported goods and enhance our self-reliance as demanded by our arching goal of creating a Ghana beyond aid. Much as we believe in free trade, we must work to ensure that the majority of goods in our shops and marketplaces are those we produce and grow here in Ghana. That is why we have to support our farmers and domestic industries, including those created under the 1D1F initiative, to help reduce our dependence on imports and allow us the opportunity to export more and more of our products and guarantee a stable currency that will present a high level of predictability for citizens and the business community. Exports, not imports, must be our mantra. All right, guys, so what do you guys think? Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say in the section below and share. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you're new and watch more videos like this. Until next time, peace out.